I was with this organization when we lived some of our, had some of our best years in the history of this franchise. I was a witness to the passion and excitement and madness of the hundreds of thousands of people down St. Catherine Street during the parades after our championship win. What motivates me to be back here is to try to, to do my part contribute to getting this organization back where it needs to be, back where it deserves to be, back where it's been. I guess it's not only a, a new start, so to speak, for the for the team, but it's also a new start for the organization. So uh, I'm curious to see what happens. Maybe Cody Fajardo is the quarterback we've been waiting for all this time. Maybe we finally have that right mix. Maybe we finally have that quote-unquote winning formula we need to get back to the Grey Cup and actually win the Grey Cup. Let's play ball, baby. A new season, a new possibility, a, a new agenda. Knew everything. We're only looking for the best. That small 1%. Can you do it or can you not? We have to find that out in a short amount of time. All I want to do is play football, so it doesn't matter where it is. I just want to play. Until they tell me, hey, look, week one, you're our starting quarterback, I'm going to fight for that starting job and make sure I earn it. It's the first day of training camp, and it marks the start of a new beginning for the Montreal Alouettes. For the first time in franchise history, they have a new owner, a new starting quarterback, and a new head coach. I think back when I got the call, you know, in November, and I knew he had a very, very important decision to make for the for the organization, and he was going to do what was best for the organization. Knowing Danny, that's what he'll do. You know, I love Danny as a coach and, and as a leader, and, and you know, would run through a wall for him as a player. So, um, you know, always wanted that opportunity again, and I hated how it ended in Edmonton for him. But I was hoping that I could work with him, and I've been hoping for that, you know, since he stopped coaching me. How are you feeling about everything? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yep. Good group of guys. Mm -hmm. Good. Yep. Cross the board. Like, That's awesome. Yeah. They see, it seems like it. Like, the thing I love is that they work hard. That's the thing I love. So. And they can they know how to practice. Like that's that's to me that's what's evident. And, and you got good character guys. Huh. You're you're you're. Your unity is built so much faster. Your development is so much quicker. Yeah, it's night and day different. Come together. I agree. You get it here, boom, 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 pull it out, rip. Oh, the main focus for for us is to come together. I mean, I I, I would like us to think about the the strongest teams out there, the teams that have the best culture, withstand any any adversity. First of all. But once they start winning and once they start going on a roll, it usually is sustainable. The more, the more comfortable I am with you, the higher I go. See, I'm like, I'm a solid, like, grab the forearm. If you're a new guy, regular. if you're a new guy, I'm down here. But if uh -huh. I'm comfortable with you, yeah. 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 <laughs> the tighter group you have, the better I think a team is and an organization is. So aligning those, those thoughts together from top to bottom in the whole organization is important to me important to this team. Having him as the head coach, you really see what kind of man he is. And I already know what kind of great man he is and what a great leader he is. But already in the first day, you can just see the things he wants to implement amongst the team, the family-oriented team. Just understanding that uh, it's team first, it's family first, it's the love for one of another. And uh, and just having him as, a, as our coach here, as the head coach and offense coordinator, gives me that sense of, uh, you know, relief or comfortability. Set out! Green 18! Green 18! Ed! Ed! Uh, come on, Mike Rover! Jesus! Hey, where's my containment? Yeah, that was the one we wanted to see. Fuck! Come on! If you mess up, keep playing! Fuck, man. 
In the Canadian Football League, second chances are not given often. Entering his seventh CFL season, it will be his first as the Alouette's starting quarterback, and after being signed as a free agent last winter, he is eager to make a strong first impression. Fajardo is looking to prove himself to not only his team, but the rest of the league. It's not very often in professional sports when you feel like you get a second chance, and, uh, and I feel that here with this organization, with Danny Mack, the GM, with Coach Moss, who I have a great relationship with. Uh, when they called me in free agency and uh, my old team didn't want to sign me back, I was, I was excited and a bit relieved to feel like there was somebody out there that wanted me. You know, in Sask, we went to back-to-back -back West Finals and you have one bad year and you kind of get shipped out, but that's the nature of professional football. And so you don't know how many opportunities you're going to get. And, uh, and I'm very thankful, very grateful for this opportunity. I'm not going to take it for granted. Uh, and so it was just exciting to be out there on the field with the guys again and just getting to know everybody. Oh, there's one. There's the first spiral of the day. I mean, obviously bringing Cody in here, you know, as a, as a number one. I mean, someone I've worked with personally in the past, someone I have familiarity with, with the system we're running. But I also, more than anything, know what Cody's like. When, when he faces adversity, that, that, that guy keeps working and, and keeps grinding. And he tries to let things roll off his shoulder and just keep going. And that's what I really appreciated when I watched him play. When, when the, our games got tied at the end of games, he usually played his best. And, uh, you know, he didn't let too many things get him down. I'm very thankful the AC's here to help him in, in that progression because I think that's going to help tremendously. I'm excited for Cody's growth going <laughs> forward. Eight plays through my scale all the way to Python. Okay, to the Python, right? Yep, and I think that was it for me. I don't know if I got any more. It's got to be the computer. Is that Dell's like 98? <laughs> At least. <laughs> You were using that back when you were playing when you, as a rookie, 80. No, we had uh, VHS tapes. <laughs> oh, man, that's how Washington yeah, had you, you, you had to take home, uh, were they broken up by yeah. down so, a distance? Yeah, so you, for every single one, it was VHS. How many VHS tapes? I wouldn't take home, I would watch that this, uh, over there, but like, if I wanted to watch like all the quads, trips, formations, I had seven, eight, whatever they were. <laughs> Did they have remotes? They, they had the remotes, remotes, didn't you? You had the remotes. The kids were the remotes. We were the remotes for our family. We had to get up and, and turn, turn it uh, it's, it's a relationship that's been built over time, three years. Um, you know, watching him have highs and watch him have lows and watch him deal with adversity and, and always be himself. And that's what I've always appreciated about him. And I watch him come in here in shape, ready to play, ready to lead. You're a veteran and you're a slot of number one QB, so, uh, uh, but you still have a month to, to, to absolutely the camp to go no to absolutely um, i want to earn the job right i don't want anything given to me i don't want anything given to me i want to earn it um, because i think once you settle once you say hey this is my team uh then you have have a hard time of getting to that next step until they tell me hey look week one you're our starting quarterback i'm going to fight for that starting job and make sure i earn it there are no shortage of wide receivers at camp this year and with too many to keep Every play matters. I want to see this route. I want to see Green this route. Green and Green and Got it. Yeah. Get off the field. Yes, sir. So when someone says, oh, that guy has swagger, what are they talking about? I don't know. I, I, I don't know the definition of it, but I think it's just something that you just can feel. You know, it's just like an energy that you see or something like that. Never at ease. I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream. I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. My dad. My granddaddy. My grandma. I love all y'all. Text me to fall through a smurder. She wrote it. Sit up with courage to do in the service. Pull up to the crib. I'm a brush stroke. Cut throat from the low low. When the low goes. When the buddy buddy like a spin. Well, coming in, um, for one, my first expectation was to make the football team and then um, from there just move on to, you know, um, fitting in with the guys, you know, learning them, who they are, where they come from. Um, I've kind of been working on that a lot. Nice, yes. You can come even further, too. Okay. Like, if you Yo. feel you got to come even further to make the play, okay. come even further. Yeah. Okay. Right it's probably depending on how low you are. Exactly. Veteran wide receiver Greg Ellingson is no stranger to the grind of training camp. And after playing 10 seasons in the Canadian Football League, this will be his first with the Montreal Alouettes. This is my 10th year, and I think this is one of the best young groups that uh, 
I've had the pleasure of working with. Um, they're picking up the offense really well. Uh, they're busting their ass in practice. He's, he's been a phenomenal veteran presence for us. The knowledge he has being in the league for 10 years is invaluable. He's coaching up the other guys, he's out there. Even when he's out there, he's helping the guy beside him. Greg's been terrific for the room so far and can't wait to get to work with him. Greg, yes sir. That's what I'm talking about. It's exactly how it looks. It's a vet right there. Yes sir. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. How many different ways we're gonna run that this year? A million. A million, yeah. Usually there's a couple guys that always kind of, you have to motivate them to like run after the catch, go get a block downfield for the, the running back or when someone else catches the ball to get a block for that guy. But this whole group seems hungry and um, it's fun to work with them and they're, and they're hungry to learn too. You know, they're always asking questions. For Greg, the only question he has for his coaches are not necessarily football related. Let me ask you. Yes. If you had a clone of yourself and you got in a fight, okay. who would win? Be a draw. Can we, can we draw? I don't know. I like to think that I would still win, you know? <laughs> if there was a, if you had a clone of yourself. First thing I'm doing? No, if you had a clone of yourself and you got in a fight to the death, who would win? Me. The real you yeah. or the fake you? Me. Real me. The real me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Real me. The learning process. In my mind, it's part of the learning process. Uh, Tyler Steed is very, very special, and I don't say that lightly. That dude is... He's tiny, but he is a football player. He, he, he is tiny, but plays big. Tiny, but plays massive. And even the room seems too. Yes. And the last thing with him, after practice, when everybody, there was not a soul out on the field, he wanted to get on the jugs. Rookie receiver Tyler Sneed has been defying football odds his entire life. He is one of 20 wide receivers fighting for a roster spot. Ah! Ah! What he lacks in stature, he makes up for in heart and speed. Oh my gosh. That dude's so quick. He's so quick. That's ridiculous. Huh? I love. Yeah, he's 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 different now. He's different. He's gonna be very hard to cover. Tyler Sneed from Raleigh, North Carolina. Good, good, good. Now, hey, Sneed, you're gonna have to realize there's a guy coming across. You might have a guy coming across late. You gotta avoid people coming across. Am I letting him go no, first? No, no, do, do exactly what you did. Becky. I just want you to have some awareness that DBs might be yeah. flying down. Just head on a swivel. Yeah, just head on a swivel. Back in, uh, back in high school, I used to get frustrated just because, you know, I was undersized and recruitment process was tough for me. Um, didn't have any offers coming out, so I had to walk on. But uh, yeah, just like, coaches basically do do a look test and everybody does it but uh yeah you look six four and look like you can run then you know you go the a group if you're five seven and aren't a blazer you go the b group and so that's just kind of how it's been kind of how i grew up but uh i learned to overcome that and just kind of play to my advantages you know i know i'm quicker uh, i know i'm quick in space and if i get a step i'm in pretty good position so just knowing that and then studying a lot of film on DBs, knowing where their weaknesses are and stuff like that. But my dad was my coach growing up, so ever since I was younger, he instilled that work ethic in me. Perfect, 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 yes sir. All I want to do is play football uh, at the end of the day, so it doesn't matter where it is, I just want to play. Make sure Tomorrow night, right, where this meeting will be with Danny. So I'll have to find out where that is, whether that's in here, in the big auditorium, probably be in the big auditorium, is what I'm thinking. Um, make sure you have uh, your guys ranked. Because if he says D line, which ones? You got to be able to say which ones you're willing to part with. Okay. Receivers, which ones we're willing to part with tomorrow. And as of now, there's nine moves that need to be made you know, for the cut down. 
Thanks. So everyone will have a say. Um, obviously, Danny will have the final say in all of it, but you know, we all knew this day was coming. So, like I said, just just know your group. And like I said, from there we'll, we'll have to make our decisions, which you all know we're coming. So, it's business on the wall. So, if you have that feeling like this guy is maybe he's gotten two more pluses, but I think he's just a better player. He just doesn't quite get it yet. Put that guy ahead of him. You know, just have a little bit of a reasoning for it. Kind of thing. And obviously, Danny and Finn, that's what they're doing. They do it all day at their heads and waste their energy that they're strictly focused on. Like Danny, for the first two days, all he's done is watch the receivers from a top. <laughs> Bird's eye view, watching every single thing they do because he wants to pick the best ones. For the past three days, general manager Danny Machocha has been evaluating his team. A CFL team can only sign 45 players to their active roster. At this year's training camp, there are over 75. Let's go, one-on-ones, compete, compete. Defense quiet today, Coach. I don't think they're ready. Let's go light them up. I don't think they're ready, Coach. Let's go light them up. Defense quiet today. I don't think they're ready. Coaches must decide who they would like to keep and who they are ready to part ways with. Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Somebody give him a map. His speed, bro. Put it away. But you did a great job using the line, right, to get off him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job digging out of the break. Get up. Good catch. Got him. Oh. oh! Nice round there. <laughs> oh! What effort. That was one of the things we control, right? Out of the eight, A-T-E, effort. No question you guys gave it today. Can we get better? Yes. Mentally, you got a lot of shit thrown at you. Effort, though, can never be questioned. Never be questioned. And what I love, too, for me being here for the first year and seeing this, how you guys practice, that's a culture you guys already have. That's just going to get better and better as we're here. The way, more we get close, the more, more we come together, it's just going to get better. You guys already take care of one another, okay? And like I said, effort is something that's spectacular. Let's just keep that going, though. I think Coach or Machocha, Coach Machocha said in his speech, consistency, right? Commitment, consistency. Let's see if we can keep that effort going every single day. We gotta get down nine by uh, midnight tonight. So the exercise I want to do is uh, I don't even want an evaluation by position because we gotta grab them right now. All right. It's more like who are we ready to move on from? And then once we establish who are the ones that we want to move on from, I'm gonna huddle up with coach, and uh, and uh, if he signs off on it, uh, we're gonna grab him and we're gonna move on. So they're not going to be around for tomorrow, the ones that we do sign off on. Well, I, I'm just learning about it now. So I figure we'll do it by position. We'll go around and if it's 9, it's 9. If it's 10, it's 10. If it's 11, it's 11. You know? We want to move. Can we start with receivers because we know that that was the biggest let's group? Let's we'll start on offense and let's start with receivers. Go ahead. Bradford now, Stewart, Dubois, Robertson. Jalen Burks. Uh, the bottom two would be Webb and Durr. I have certain reservations of playing him, knowing that if he goes down, he counts. Yes, coach. Rashad Harden. Uh, Keo Byers. So 
Yeah, I'd like to DB. Five, yeah, five. Patrick. And you got Kennedy, right? As far as the Americans are concerned? Yes, sir. Going in last year, I had the expectations of like trying to get the crown again, you know, being the leading rusher, you know, having a phenomenal season the year before. Adam swinging it up for Stanback. Has room. Has a touchdown. William Stanback has worked on catching the ball into the backfield throughout the offseason. I felt like we started off on the good side, you know, start off on a good foot. Stanback with a head of steam gets down near a first down and he's hurt. A concerning sight. Uh, for the Montreal Alouettes, with William Stanback, he gives a thumbs up, but it just sucks that I, you know, I got hurt in the way and in the fashion that I did. But you know, you know, God was with me, He stayed with me, and um, I was able to continue to rehab and be able to have the ability okay. to get back. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look, yeah. Down low, up top, up top. On my way to the bag at the bus stop, bus stop. Some low, some fly. I ain't got my shot yet, but I'm gon' pop. Hey, it's too wet out here, bro. It's too wet. It's too wet. I'm trying to turn it up a notch. Like, I'm trying to show the league something that they probably ain't never seen from me. I'm the release for it. I see the flip. I make it flip. I just hit a lick. This that double shift. I'm trying to win the whole thing. I'm tired of losing in the first round. I'm tired of falling short. I'm really excited for what we got coming in. This team this year, we're going to be something to watch. Feels good. Uh, I feel like it happened fast, but I'm excited to uh, take on that role. I'm not really a vocal leader too much, but you know I lead by example, so it's definitely an opportunity that I'm excited to take on and, and, and be that leader for, for the guy. We about to go crazy today. Back to back to back. We own it. Let's get it. Uh, We gotta keep it going, bro. I'm loving what you want, bro. We gotta keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a little bit of that, though. Yeah, yeah. You don't need that. That's that holy that's that holy spirit thing, bro. That's that holy spirit. Oh yeah, you know I need that. Need it. I mean I have always set very lofty goals for myself. Uh, I wanna be uh, defensive player of the year. That's just something that I, you know, kind of wrote down on my vision board that I have. Overall, at the end of the season, that's, you know, one of my main goals, but continuing to grow as a player, um, be better than last year, obviously. Come on back, come back. Hey. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I think I put my finger in your mouth. <laughs> Coach Mod says, uh, GR8, got to get the eighth gray cup for um, the Alouettes. Just want to bring that back, you know, and, and finish with that cup. You know, being out there in the cold today and it's freezing and... Hey, man, we outside. Rain, sleet, sleet or snow. We outside. I think I got it in my eye too, huh? When you host that cup at the end, it makes you appreciate these kind of days. But um, yeah, we just win, man. You make the playoffs, get to the cup and, and bring it home. <laughs> Come on, bro! Stop playing! They need to stop trying me! Hey, Sammy! Stop doing that, you know what I'm saying? They said I couldn't do it three days in a row. They said I couldn't get a pick three days in a row. It happened. So now what? Now they're gonna say I can't do it four days in a row. Stay tuned. We're gonna get it. You're going to be one of the big guys I lean on for that stuff, yes, the buy-in of yeah. the team and the, everything you and I talked about in the yes, offseason, how I told you, talking to you, I'm like, 
If everyone thinks yeah, like yeah. you, we're going to be just fine. Yeah, so high fine. energy, want you guys to get along, get you guys to be as tight as possible. And I can already tell just based on freaking all the meetings already. Yeah. You can see the guys that have been here, how right, they are. Right. Yeah, I love your energy, though. It gets me fired up. Oh, I'm good. I love it. I'm on the edge of my seat. Yeah, I get, well, I'm going to try to change it enough to where you are like that the whole year. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, well, all right coach. Yeah. Let's just take a reminder here about training camp mindset. Win the day. Win the day. That's not just what happened in practice. Okay, how are we going to win the day? What's the most important thing right now? Right now. No, right now. Yeah. Getting better from the tape. That's the most important thing right now. Okay. So we're going to just work off the curl, the basics. So he's coming off. Defensive coordinator Noel Thorpe has over a decade of coaching experience. Having been to the Grey Cup before, he knows exactly what it takes to get there. When we go up and we squeeze it here, what's the, what's the receiver going to do? He turned in the DB. We got to be violent to the tuck. We got to be violent to the tuck. So put it away. Green 18. Green 18. Say it, go. Yeah, you got you to you gotta get out there right now. You're the will. You're out there. You, you start on two. You're starting on two. <laughs> What do you say? Yeah, that works on that. If you guys call me, I'll leave on your oh, no, you Rookie Maxim Lavale is experiencing his first training camp in the CFL, eager to learn and eager to play. It's really incredible. For real, when I got the call, I was really happy. You know, when I was young, I lived in Gatineau, which is close to Ottawa. And being in a local club, you know, I'm close to Quebec, which is where I live. It's close to Gatineau, which is my family. It's not going to be better. Two weeks? You're crazy, man. I still struggle with French. Yeah, I know. 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 Well, if you learn like a couple words a day, by the training camp, you'll be pretty good. Hey, boy. Oh yeah. La première journée, ça a été un peu plus difficile à, à s'adapter, mais aujourd'hui, ça, ça a bien été. L'important, c'est juste de progresser de, de jour en jour. Puis je pense que c'est ça que j'ai fait aujourd'hui. Il y a clairement encore des trucs à, à travailler, of course. Mais pour vrai, le, le speed est, il est meilleur, mais je suis capable de, de jouer avec ça. Yeah, do it again. That's what it takes. Low on. Low on. Low on. Low on. Go. Speed to the line. Sink. Good. Good. Come on. There's no stopping you today, man. There you go. Here we go, there, man. Great, great speed. For me, the important thing is to make a class as a unit special with Byron, and it's there that I'm going to give all my 100%. I'm going to do everything in defense to make a name there. But the most important thing is to make a class as a unit special. Oh, that's good. There you are. Let's go. Have a good one. There you go. Good work, man. Good work, boys. And our pullback's got a lot of balls. That's good. Is this guy the draft pick? Uh, Delaire, yeah. From uh, from Laval. You can put this on clean tape there, double D's. Woo! Got the rookie brick after the flow. Here he comes around. All right, watch the angle. Look at the angle. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. He's going right, so he's hitting right shoulder. Okay, beautiful angle right here. Especially coming from the flow. Okay, that's textbook. That's exactly what we want this to look like. Selected by Montreal in the second round of the CFL draft, rookie 
David Dallaire has been getting high praise from coaches. He understands that to fight his way up the depth chart, he must compete each day. C'est assez impressionnant le feeling là. Ça, ça donne un petit peu des papillons dans le ventre de pouvoir représenter les mon Québec là. Fait que c'est c'est vraiment le fun aussi au niveau professionnel. C'est c'est un autre game puis c'est un petit peu un début de mission accompli. Pas le job, bro. Yeah, beaucoup plus rapide que mettons à l'université. Euh, ça paraît qu'il y a des, des joueurs qui fait longtemps qu'ils sont là et qui connaissent la game. Puis c'est avec ceux-là qu'il faut que je me rapproche et que je, je, je regarde comment ils jouent, comment ils font tout pour euh, amener mon jeu à un autre niveau. Mais euh, je pense que ça s'en quand même bien. On va avoir une belle compétition. Probablement avec James Tuck qui est déjà là, qui a fait quelques années. Il a beaucoup d'expérience, et que je vais, je vais le suivre de près. Je vais vraiment m'inspirer de son, son style de jeu. Puis je vais probablement aussi avoir un impact sur les unités sociales. Fait que j'espère pouvoir faire. Ah ouais, c'est de la curve, ça? Howard, running back, Austin Mack, receiver, uh, Rogers, DB, and the wall. I think no, the wall's good. Go, right? He just has a toe or something. But he's, he's good. Spot. He's good. Yeah, good. He doesn't need a thing. He should keep going. So Rogers, he's able to go. Limited. Yeah. But that means kind of to his pain tolerance. Yeah. So as long as he doesn't say anything more, like he said, oh, I didn't want to come out. Well, yeah. don't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking bottom line to me. So, again, the only thing we tell them, yeah. and, and I haven't discussed this with them about toughness, and probably then before the scrimmage I will. Yeah. Toughness means, are you available to us? <laughs> but your head will never say anything. It's not being tough. If your head, like Antwi, it ain't tough to try to gut it out. Your head hurts, you can't play. That's football in 2023. So just understand that's not what we're asking for. But your finger, your toe, your hand, your elbow, your knee, do you want this or not? That's the way I look at it. And again, we're going to take care of the guys that are, we know who they're going to be here. Yep. But if you're not here yet and you're a rookie, you better be able to play through some shit in camp for us so we can see it. So that guy, don't fucking say nothing to somebody then. That's what should happen. And if you do, you're not playing then. <laughs> Bottom line. Better hope somebody else doesn't step in your position in Willy Pipia or Wally Pipia, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, get ready for the scrimmage. <laughs> Big scrimmage day, let's get this work man. I prefer us to be locked in every single day. Treat every game, treat every prize, treat everything like it's a game seven. Because game seven means what? Thanks. Win or go home. All that work you did all year came down to one game, one time, one moment. Okay, but it takes all that whole time. And you better enjoy the whole ride because you can't just enjoy that moment. You should be enjoying everything. GR8, a phrase head coach Jason Moss has been embedding into the culture of his team for the past week. The chase for the Montreal Alouettes' eighth Grey Cup. Today, the coaching staff will be able to see who can compete, who can battle, and who can prove why they deserve a job. With CFL officials present, competition will be at a camp high. Bring it in tight, bring it in tight, kind of get down, get down. Christian. All right, guys. I take a lot of pride in this, all right? Because, hey, American, Canadian, it doesn't matter. This is our country. This is why we get to play football. That's important to us because people before us made it possible for us to do this shit today. All right, I don't want guys on the PDLs. I don't want guys in the back. You want to be on the edge of the white line, nice and crisp, clean. There's nothing better than seeing a whole team lined up straight, ready to go to war together because the guys on the other side are slots. Every thing matters. Doesn't matter how big the detail is or how small. Start it the right way. Go! Hey yo! All day. Ball the out. Be the best person on the field. Let's go. Owls on me. Owls on three. One, two, three. Go, let's go. 
Take the sack or you're throwing it, but that's going to be a, a hit for sure in a game. Yeah, 100%. How long got to cover out there, man? No, he no, that's, that's a sack. sack. That's a sack. Second. All right, man. Oh, he's at least. Fire, fire. Hurry, hurry. Sit up. Okay. I just, I just went and I just turned. You went like this and nobody was there. Yeah, bro. Like, I just passed him. I'm like, all right, and then went like this. I came back down. Oh, okay. A bit, yeah, I would I just. just if think. you see nobody, throw your hand up. Right. Okay, that's. But just make sure. Sometimes the half will come low and the corner will be high. Yeah. So nobody will be here, and then you break and the corner's high. Then you got to come back shows. and it'll be your ball. I just want to make sure we're on the same yeah. page. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. So, but if you ever feel like shit, I'm open on any route. Throw your hand up, and so I can see it. So many miles left in his legs. Just throw me a ball. I don't mind working. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Here he come. Here he come. Here he come. Here he come. Hey, what was 
I got told specifically, like, hey, we have to different. Every time we got there, bro. Got to, got to. This shit. Hey, first of all, hey, that's our, that's a dress rehearsal, right? That shouldn't have been perfect, and it was chaotic, just like we thought it would be. Okay, that's just the beginning, though. All right, and I loved how you guys fought all day. We ran 79 plays in that little bit of an hour. Okay, so that's excellent, excellent. Okay, cool. it's gonna be a fight and a battle. Okay, so if you felt winded at all today, we're gonna up our conditioning next week, just before we get there, okay? But great job, great start, way to play together. Defense, I'm proud of you guys, because I know not everything went your way, particularly with the referees at times, they make their judgment calls, okay, and we gotta fight through stuff. All right, but I thought you guys did a great job battling that way. And offense, I thought we did a good job of the same thing. Doing the highs, the lows, and everything. Just staying even keel the whole way. That's what we need to be. But great job, great start. Okay, let's thank the fans one more time. Okay, make sure we're out here 20 minutes. We got a barbecue right after that. This is all about fellowship tonight, right? All about fellowship. We got a Ganyan, bring us up, man. Get great job. You good? I miss you. I stink. Don't daddy stink? A little bit? A little bit? No? Final rosters must be delivered to CFL head office by tonight. For some, this is their last opportunity to prove to the coaches that they deserve to be a Montreal Alouette. Blood, sweat, and tears. Three things that have went into the past five weeks. A restructured organization trying to prove to a city that they are once again a championship team. Tonight, roster spots will be earned, jobs will be lost, and dreams of playing in the Canadian Football League will come to fruition. Ability, toughness, and effort. Play for everybody in this locker room, everybody in this city, everyone in this organization. Every time we hit the field, that's the passion we need to play with. Do it tonight, fellas, do it tonight. Hey, all you done! All you done! Put your foot in somebody's mouth! You're the best mouth on the field! Show that sh Let's go! Family on me! Family on three! One, two, three, family! Let's go, man! Premier essai, Aidis. Fin de jeu au sol, le quart arrière qui sent la pression, décide de quitter sa zone de protection. Shields qui court, franchit la ligne centrale. Premier essai obtenu, Shields a encore du chemin devant lui. Il profite d'un bloc, revient à l'intérieur, plaque à l'intérieur du 15. Un long gain au sol pour Matthew Shields. Pression à 4. Hey, it's one, hey, it's one quarterback run, that's it. Le premier essai du 54 toujours en territoire montréalais. Le Jean-Luc s'est arrêté sa chambre de vie. Le quart s'installe. Il cherche. Pression qui est forte. Le Jean-Luc garde son équilibre. 17 portées de ballon franchi la ligne centrale. Et avec son équipe au 50 en territoire adverse. Alors, si verte, Oli Fajardo. Silencieuse pour cette séquence à l'attaque. Alors, Fajardo reçoit le ballon. C'est bon, mais il vient qui vient recevoir qui est seul. Carté par Cole Speaker. Ce ballon est Speaker. Stanback reçoit le ballon, plusieurs joueurs sont déjà sur son chemin, mais le demi-offensif fonce et atteint le max. Fajardo qui envoie ses joueurs en mouvement, le quart qui fait la remise à son demi, passe vers la ligne. Et c'est Julian Brett. Alors, belle réplique de la part des Alouettes après avoir vu les tie cuts. avec le botté de reprise ou plutôt le retour et c'est un bon retour effectué. Voilà que les Tiger Cats franchissent la ligne de 50 alors ils seront bien placés pour leur prochaine série. Fajardo qui tente une très longue passe vers la ligne de côté. Un contre un, c'est raté. Alors une autre passe incomplète cette fois pour Austin Mack, visé une première fois ce soir. A completion just gets us no matter what. Out of there and we can non, butt it. Pas grave de faire avancer l'attaque. On aura le vent dans le dos pour au moins faire de dégagement. <laughs> Alors, côté synchronisme pour changer le côté de terrain. Oh, 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 oh,
Fajardo récupère le ballon. Oui. Et Carabia qui envoie ça à l'extérieur. Alors on joue de chance chez les Alouettes. Fajardo qui a profité d'un rebond favorable. Ouais. Et chez les Tiger Cats, on dit... Et les buts. Cette fois de la ligne de 9. Shields lance vers la zone de but. C'est capté. Touché Richie Sindani. Touché. 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 qui force le dégagement. Les Alouettes ont le, le ballon pour aller gagner le match. Elle était bonne en fin de quatrième quart la semaine dernière, alors faut le dire aussi quand ça va bien. Mais... Alors une petite passe qui a été captée. Oh oui, voilà. Alors euh... Ça, regardez ce qui se passait au niveau du protecteur Fassan, ce qui n'était pas là. là. Mais d'après moi, ces deux-là, là, on va voir là, un concours de crête, un concours de ouais. qui qui écrase l'adversaire oh, oui. plus souvent dans un match. Ça va rajouter de la hargne au centre de la ligne. Evans avec une passe, c'est capté. Premier jeu obtenu par les Alouettes qui sont au 39. Courtney Davis, encore une fois sollicité. Ouais, Caleb Evans. Au 36. Evans regarde à gauche. Il lance le ballon vers les lignes de côté. Le ballon qui est... Courtney Davis! Ah, ben écoute, la semaine passée, il a fait un attrapé pour un toucher. Là, Eugene Lewis, là, ici, fait un attrapé. Hey, listen up. Hey, all 60 fucking minutes. One more half to fucking go. Give it everything you fucking got. Leave it all out there. Play together. Play to your ability, your toughness, and your effort all fucking night. 30 more. Let's finish. Une semaine avant le camp d'entraînement à Trois-Rivières, question de se familiariser avec son nouvel environnement. C'est la première fois qu'il mettait les pieds au Canada. De l'attaque des Tiger Cats l'an dernier, les revirements. Powell qui lance le ballon au moment où ça devait lui et c'est intercepté. Alors, revirement déjà, Cordell Rogers. Yeah, Flex, I just want to win. Yeah, L.A. B.B. who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three. I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big Ben dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping and bass. That's how we get it done. That's how we get it done. Alors vous le voyez, Davis, Alexander est maintenant le quart des Alouettes. Il est troisième à cette position ce soir. Vingtaine de secondes à faire à ce troisième quart. Premier essai. Remise basse pour Alexander. Il a fait la remise à son demi. Alexander pour faire les lignes de côté. Il a ce ballon de son C'est ici, c'est le temps, là. L'issue du match. Le ballon échappé et perdu au profit de l'adversaire. On y reviendra. Le Davis Alexander qui a évité la pression. Mouchoir qui a été lancé en raison d'une pénalité. Alexander. Deuxième essai. Toujours de la ligne de 15. Alexander s'avance un peu dans sa zone de protection, décide de quitter, il est accroché, quatre le ballon. Alexander cherche une option de passe, c'est tout volé, c'était risqué et c'est une passe incomplète. Il euh, y a un petit peu trop de Brett Favre dans ça. L'expression anglaise, c'est le gunslinger. Il ouais. n'a jamais joué de match avec les Alouettes. Alors, premier essai du 35, Powell qui lance et s'écarte. D'abord d'une seule main, puis le ballon est sécurisé par 
Foremost, congratulations. All right. Anytime we can put the lights on, the scoreboards on, we're playing at home. You expect that we can win. That's going to be something we do a lot of around here. Okay. But you got to expect it first. But that doesn't just happen tonight. That's from all the hard work you guys have put in. Every last one of you. Very, very proud of the group. Okay. Short period of time. Three weeks we've come together. Okay. Really appreciate you guys. Love you guys for that. Say hello, see to play. Let's see. The hand warmer with the shorts, not a good look. Hand warmer with the shorts, not a good look. 